here we have our 42 circuit main lug only interior. Uh, your interior might look a little different than ours. We've taken our interior out of the box so that you have a better view of what we're doing. The first thing you want to do is locate where your neutral is. Your feed through lugs will be installed on the opposite end of where your neutral is. Things are going to differ a little bit now depending on how many spaces your panel board is. If you have a 42 space panel board, you just need to remove the entire dead front assembly by taking out the four inner screws. Please remember to retain these screws as you will need them again to reconnect this dead front back onto the panel board. If you have a 30, 54, 72, or 84 space panel board, you'll have to remove the dead front as we did for the 42 space interior but you'll also need to remove the cover extension. This can be found if you locate the neutral assembly. Uh, the cover extension you wish to remove is the one on the opposite end from the neutral assembly of your panel board. Now that you've taken off the cover that you won't use anymore for those 30, 54, 72, and 84 space interiors, you just wanna install the right extension cover, which is the extension cover that's included in your kit. So just use the same two screws that you removed the other one with and install the new one. Okay, so now we're going to install the feed-through lugs included in the kit using the three longer gold screws. Remember to install these lugs on the end of the panel board opposite the neutral bar. Now that we've installed the feed-through lugs, it's now time to install the neutral lug here at the top of the panel board next to the neutral bar. On the left hand side you should already have a neutral lug for your panel board. On the right hand side you may or may not have this neutral bonding strap. If you do have a neutral bonding strap, you are going to install the lug right on top of the strap. To do this, just remove the gold screw that's attached to the strap and set the lug right on top of the bonding strap. Then reinstall the screw and torque it to 25 to 30 pound inches. If you are not using this device as a service entrance equipment device, you will not have a neutral bonding strap. You would install the lug in the same spot, however. Just find the neutral bar on the right hand side of the panel board and install the lug into the hole right next to it. Torque the lug to 25 to 30 pound inches. Now that we've attached the neutral lug here at the top by the neutral bar and the phase lugs here on the opposite ends, it's now time to attach the rail splices and rail extensions. Please remember if you have a 42 space interior, you do not need to do this. This is what is pictured here. That's the, the model of a panel board we have is 42 spaces. I'm still going to show this just so that people with other spaced interiors can know how to do this part as well. To do this, you need to use the eight screws that were included in the kit. Now just get your rail extensions and the rail splices and you're going to stick them together. They're pretty foolproof. You can put them in any direction and they will work. Uh, I would look for the little knob on the side of the rail splice and stick it in the hole of the rail extension as you can see me doing in this video. Once you do this, the holes at the top should line up and you can stick the screws, two screws into each of the holes that line up. Once you've screwed your rail extensions and your rail splices together for both sides, you now just need to hook this up to the panel board rail itself. To do this, just find the knob of the rail splice and hook it into the hole of the rail on your panel board. The two holes at the top then should align and you can put your screws in. The final step is to remount the dead front assembly. 